the first step to operating your new service truck. As always, you're going to need the key on and the truck running. If you'd like to turn the lights on in your cabinets of your new service truck without leaving the cab, simply push the aux to upfitter switch located in the lower part of your console. Once the aux 2 switch is depressed, you'll see the lights will be on inside all of your cabinets. If you need to turn on the air compressor or the crane, you'll need the PTO turned on. In order to do this, you'll need to make sure that the truck is in park, the parking brake is depressed, and then you'll push the AUX3 upfitter switch that's located on the bottom of your console. You can now hear the PTO is running. The PTO will adjust the RPM automatically based on the load that you put on it with the crane or the air compressor as needed. To activate the air compressor, for the crane, you'll need to access the green controller located in the crane compartment directly below the crane. Remove this, which is, has a magnetic base. The e-stop should be depressed. The next step is to toggle any of the toggle switches. You'll notice the transmitter light is now flashing. Next step is to pop out the e-stop. You'll see the transmitter light goes mostly solid. At this point, for any of the functions you'd like to perform, you'll pull the trigger and flick the switch that you desire. For this example, we'll turn on the air compressor. To turn off the air compressor, pull the trigger and turn the compressor switch to on. The crane on your service truck is equipped with proportional controls. To do so, you'll need to throttle the trigger located at the bottom of the green controller, depending on how much movement you'd like out of the different crane functions. Simultaneously, you'll need to press one of the toggle switches in the direction of the, the function that you desire. This controller will also allow you to start and stop your truck remotely. Again, you're going to need to pull the trigger, and then in this instance, since the truck's already running, going to take it to the stop position to turn the truck off. Now since we shut the truck down with the PTO on, if we do the same thing but for engine start, the truck will start and the PTO will be on allowing you to use any of the hydraulics. In order to out operate the outriggers or the floodlights, you'll need the AUX1 out upper upfitter switch engaged in the lower part of your console. Again, located in the crane compartment is your outrigger controls and the switch for your floodlights. If you need to operate your outriggers, you'll turn the outrigger switch on, and then you'll use the appropriate switch for whatever function you need. So in this instance, we'll move the outriggers out. simply turn the floods to the top position. This will turn on all of your floodlights around the truck. Your trucks also fit with a 5,000 watt inverter. To operate it, you just turn the switch to the on position. Your truck is equipped with two outlets, one at the rear of the truck and another one behind the driver's center console or armrest. Um, you'll notice that the light is on right now. If you turn the inverter to the on position, uh, you'll see that this light is on. After it is, you can now control when you have power to this outlet inside the cab by depressing this button. Uh, we recommend that you leave the inverter in the on position. Uh, that way you can turn it off here. You can see the lights out and we'll go back around and you'll be able to see the lights are off on your inverter. If we go back and hit the button, we'll never... by depressing this button again, You'll see the power is on, 
that means we now have 120 volts available there and you can see on the inverter lights are on and the inverter is putting out voltage